A man from El Salvador who spent nearly 30 years in the U.S. wonders what will become of his life in the months to come. He's here in the U.S. under the Temporary Protective Status Program. Channel 5's Carolina Cruz breaks down the reason behind the dismantling of TPS for El Salvador. Temporary protected status provided a safe haven for people from countries affected by a variety of natural disasters. It protects over 300,000 people from over 10 countries. More than half of those are from El Salvador. The decision was based on disaster-related conditions. The Homeland Security Secretary says El Salvador received enough international aid to recover from Mother Nature. Homes, schools, and hospitals were repaired and rebuilt since a massive 2001 earthquake. Considering if I do leave, it will be a very hard life. Salvadoran native Orlando Hernandez came to the U.S. and stayed in the country with the TPS program. It provided a legal option. He's one of thousands who were allowed to stay over the years. I only have a brother in El Salvador. My dad died, my mom died. Hernandez is the only member of his family under TPS. His children are citizens, his wife a permanent resident. This week's decision gives him and others until September 2019 to find an alternative, stay in the country legally, voluntarily return or be deported. Numbers USA, a moderate conservative and liberal group said in a statement, the past practice of allowing foreign nationals to remain in the United States long after an initial emergency in their home countries has ended has undermined the integrity of the program and essentially made the temporary protected status a front operation for backdoor permanent immigration. The organization emphasized the program was never intended to be a permanent solution. For now, Hernandez is waiting. I ask that all of us with TPS fight and pray to God. Waiting to see what the final 18 months of the program hold. DHS says the Trump administration left a door open for Congress to find a legislative solution that would allow Salvadorans with TPS to remain in the country. In the studio, Carolina Cruz, Channel 5 News at 1030.